Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Nidalee game, so we are on the other team. And um, Nidalee is uh, going bottom lane. Yep, she is going to support this um, red guy. No, he's, she's going to support Twitch. Well, not really support, I guess she's going with um, mana potion and some boots. Why only one mana potion though? She still has some gold left. Hmm? Is that more than one? Oh, I really can't tell. But, yeah. Oh, that, that's three. Okay, whatever. So she is going for... Uh, hang on. What's Boots and Potions? Oh man, I can't believe this. But Boots and Potions, you have 20 gold left, so... She can't... I, I don't know. I I don't know. Anyhow, <laughs> I I don't understand what's happening here, but maybe she bought some health potions and then sold them. I I have no clue. Anyhow, we are going to go bottom lane. We have no jungler. It seems. Oh no no no! This guy is going jungle. He's just go going for a really strange route. Normally, we see people going for the uh, the rage into. Uh, red buff because it gives you a little bit more uh, gold, I believe, or experience, one or both. And um, yeah, it's just uh, easier to kill them. That's that's definitely true. I mean, the golems are pretty hard to kill compared to the raids because the raids are just uh, very easy to take out with some AOE damage. And um, yeah, it's going to take him quite a while. <laughs> this red buff has been up forever. And it seems that uh, the top laner doesn't really mind. So they're probably duo queue. Because otherwise we would see some... Uh, yes, a, a really annoyed uh, Mordekaiser here. Who has uh, lost only one minion, surprisingly. Because uh, Xin Zhao has just been taking out all of the minions really quickly. Anyhow, uh, our... Uh, What's her face here is starting off with the traps, I believe. Yep. Nidley, that's the name. Nidley is starting off with the traps here. And let's see how uh, Mordecai can actually come back from this. Because he, um, he started off with a really big deficit. These uh, six means behind here. He can pick up four more, but he refuses to just auto attack them and therefore loses all six or all four sorry so he's still uh, at two minions which is pretty awesome for him but yeah if it uh, if you lose one minion to uh, well starting the red buff and then only have two minions from the first two minion waves then you're doing something wrong and yeah it seems that this uh, bottom lane is really pushing hard uh, because well, this guy is not really able to uh, to control it against the two enemies. Of course, against uh, Jax Asriel, you would need to uh, last hit, or you would need to do more than just last hit. And um, yeah, we are going for this guy, and is it going to be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. But they do pick up the Jax. Jax has a new profile picture, apparently. And yeah, it is just like all of the new ones, kind of weird. At least here you can see that it's supposed to be a face, but I don't really, yeah, I don't really get the uh, the Jack's picture anyway. The old Jack's picture looked pretty terrible as well. I mean, they're all fine when you see the big picture, the the uh, original art. But if you then cut out only the head and make it this small, or even worse, this small. Then, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's it's not that good anymore. I guess here you can still see that it's a head, so I don't have that much problem with it. So anyhow, we are currently up one versus two over here, and um, yeah, the only lane that's further interesting is this one because there's a gang coming in, and wow, that looks, that looks crazy good. Wow, I haven't seen uh, Evelyn in forever, but 
Well, yeah, I need a, I need an Evelyn game, guys. Fires a line of spikes. <coughs> Cute. And then, um, uh, yeah, I'll I'll read it the next time that uh, the and and Evelyn games comes up. But yeah, Evelyn has been remade. Twitch also has been remade, I believe. Um, No, maybe not. Hang on, he does have other... Yeah. So, yeah, it is no longer slow, apparently. Huh. Oh, it is a slow. Never mind. It is still a slow, it's just not the same slow. Yeah. I don't know, it's it's just uh, they remade those champions and I haven't really paid attention to that. And I really should. So Jax run, uh, runs through a ward here. And the same goes for Evelyn, but Evelyn is at least invisible. Well, not anymore. But yeah, Evelyn will be useful again with that uh, AoE damage on her Q. Because if that's still uh, that low... Yeah, it's a one and a half second uh, cooldown at level one. So yeah, that is uh, that is plenty useful. But yeah, the um, the ability of uh, of those champions uh, to now do a little more in uh, in the lane is really going to pay off. It's going to be awesome. Because that is the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to pick whatever champion and just do well with them. If you can play them. Of course that is the general problem. Um, yeah, shall I go back to this this one here? Hang on. Why did he lose that? Okay, so they were in a one versus one situation. This guy has been remade as well. Wow. Really been doing a decent job of remaking everything. So, yeah, it seems that he was just in a one versus one and just completely got owned. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh. Wow. He didn't have level six yet. Anyhow, yeah, it seems that uh, Xin Zhao has been remade as well. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what his skills were, but I believe he didn't have a heal there. Yeah, the rest seems pretty much the same, but yeah, as I said, not really sure how that uh, worked before, so... Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, you can read the skills, and as I said, I don't really know what they were before, so... Since I was one of those champions that was was never played, and that I never found very interesting, because it's, uh, it's a champion like Master Yi. Only Master Yi can be, uh, well, can be fun to play when you play him AP, but Xin Zhao was never fun to play. And let's see, that was in mid lane this time. Yeah, let's uh, stop talking about random stuff, and especially about the remakes, which I didn't follow at all. And just go follow the ganks when they come. Seems that the uh, top lane is under some pressure, but... Yeah, I'm going to follow this lane until a gank comes in. And it seems that uh, Nidalee is just uh, chilling here. She is going for that uh, a tier of the goddess, which is a strange choice on Nidalee. Because Nidalee doesn't really have a spam spell. And you need to spam your spells every two seconds, I believe. To make that really worth it. Because then you can uh, you can stack it up 250 times. Because yes, it takes 250 spells to, uh, to get the tier of the goddess to its full potential. And that is a whole lot. Of course, if you go with um, the Mana Mune... It's no longer 250 times, because your basic attack also, uh, well, charges it. So anyhow, um, 
current minion scores. Let's see those. Um, first of all, let's look at the junglers. 32 versus 42, so that's pretty much the same. Sorry, my mistake. I was going to follow these guys around. I was going to follow the the ganks, I should say. And oh. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Since I'm actually getting the kill there, that is pretty amazing. Anyhow, <laughs> um, the Jax and Asriel currently have about 40 minions, and they are going up against. Hang on, this one and. Hang on, Twitch, yeah, 37, so that's 50, 50 something, so they're about uh, 15 minions ahead, and uh, 15 minions is one kill, so that's pretty good. Then uh, the mid laners, that is this guy at 40 against the Rise again at 46, so yeah, Rise is pretty far ahead, well not really game changing far, but still far enough to... Uh, to make a difference and yes that is good enough and yeah the gang coming in in the bottom lane but he's really a little bit too late and Evelyn seems to be coming in here as well oh Lisa not actually coming in he was just uh, having some fun there so top lane is 50 versus 43 so yeah, there's not a whole lot of minions between those as well, or either, I should say. <laughs> the sleep monster getting the kill. Come on, get her. Oh man, they were three versus one and they didn't get it. Because this guy just ran out. Man. I bet there was some cursing in the chat there. <laughs> oh man, that, that was a 3 versus 1 which they lost. And they lost it because, um, well, first of all, the recall can be done in stealth, which it should have been. I mean, he should have been recalling in stealth uh, if you can do that. Otherwise, he should have ran back to his team. And then the. Uh, Lee Sin obviously shouldn't have ran out. So yeah, nearly a little bit overextending there, but uh, didn't have to pay too much for it. Yeah, it does seem that uh, they know that there's someone there now. Yeah, they did ping him. I didn't know whether they... Uh, well, well, whether they, uh, he actually hit, but he did hit, so. So Lee Sin once again taking the blue buff here, which is surprising, as, well, he is definitely the one that shouldn't take the blue buff. Nidalee should probably take it. And that was a nice amount of damage done there. Because she is, uh, well, she doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, she has, what, 13 AP? Man, it's really annoying. There it is. Uh, AP 13. Yeah, so 13 AP and still doing a massive amount of damage here to that uh, that Astriel with the one Javelin. Of course, the Javelin is a pretty sick amount of damage. Especially if you can hit the 250%. And yeah, that's a pretty decent amount of damage done. But she is, um, as I said, not going to charge up this uh, this tier of the goddess very quickly. So we'll have to see whether she goes for AP or AD. And uh, wow, <laughs> that um, that Evelyn coming in a little bit too early, not realizing that she is pretty uh, easy to kill. Uh, but yeah, she did do some uh, some nice damage there. And a double kill for Rise. She did do some nice damage, which means that if she played that better, then she would have definitely 
Uh, yeah, she would have definitely stayed alive and done a lot of damage. So it seems that uh, Jace, yeah, he was spotted going into the mid lane. Or into the river from mid lane. And uh, he is now going to do some damage to this guy. Who is not going to make it out. Come on. Kill him already. What? Jump on him. No, he can't see him. <laughs> How nice the knockback getting him out of there. Oh. That was so nice. That was such a lucky shot. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so yeah, it seems that uh, Jax wants to die here. And oh man, Lee Sin, dude. <sighs> Crucial shot and he misses it. But yeah, they, we do get a turret in the bottom lane. But that would have been awesome if they could have gotten another kill out of that. <laughs> man, that shot from Jace. That was ridiculous. So we are running past the enemies. Now yes, they could have gone for Dragon here. Because nobody's going for Dragon it seems. And um, yeah, now that their ward times out, it is going to be harder to uh, keep an eye on that. Because obviously you don't know where the enemies are. Oh man, what is this guy doing? He just came in to die and then he wins the fight. 3 versus 1. Really? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see what's happening here. So yeah, another turret going down for the blue team, and uh, it seems that uh, we're doing quite well. It is uh, 3 versus 0 in the turret business. No, get out! Oh, he gets out, and is she? No, she's not going to get out. That's a shame. I don't know why Nidalee was all the way over there, but uh, yeah, she was still full health, I guess. Or near full health. And she, oh, she got snared. Wow, that does a lot of damage. That Rice is really on a rampage here. Doing a lot of damage there. Um, yeah, he only has three kills, so, but, yeah. Not, yeah, he, he has some pretty decent minions. But not like the highest in the game. Both of the top laners are 95. Well, 95, 93, yes. But it's the same amount, and then the rest, yeah, the mid lane is only at 75, so they already lost 20 minions there. And this guy at 61, so he missed a whole bunch of minions. I mean, that is just crazy. That's 35 minions he lost just in the laning phase. I mean, obviously, you're never going to get 400 minions if you do it like that. And as a ranged champion against Rice, you should be doing pretty well, I guess. Because, uh, well, the problem uh, or the problem with Rice is that he can snare you. But, yeah, if you can just attack from, uh, well, well beyond his range, then um, you should be able to do that pretty qu pretty well. Uh, you should be able to get all the minions. So, yeah, it seems that the uh, red team is finally considering going for Dragon, at least. And blue team does have uh, a ward on that. And they are going to grab this kill. Nicely done. And Nidalee is stuck with the dragon. Doesn't want to be stuck with the dragon. <laughs> so it seems that uh, Lee Sin is finally going in. Oh, and missing the javelin on the dragon. At least I think she missed it. Because... I think it timed out just before it actually hit, but may have been wrong on that. So yeah, 
The red team has the dragon, just to make sure. <laughs> but it seems that, yeah, they're going to trade that for a turret in the top lane. And that's because the entire team was there. So they need to uh, make something happen here. They need to make, uh, well, one of the uh, turrets pay for that. They need to push uh, one of the lanes and, of course, this guy wants to uh, to kill this turret and he should pay for that as well so here comes the twitch, twitch that's not oh, he's not going to stand around obviously he's going to run so yeah here we go with the wards, the blue wards up they can see where the enemy team is and <laughs> oh man, they're completely divided again. And Mordecaiser gets killed, but then... Wow, they do grab the kill on uh, on Evelyn. Shut down. <laughs> oh man, this Rise does ridiculous damage. And Asriel is going to not make it out. <laughs> Nicely done. And oh wow, those javelins are huge! Oh uh, yeah, the, the, the Lee Sin obviously should have played that differently. He should have uh, queued the first minion that came in and then uh, used his AoE to, or jump to that and then use his AoE to get the rise. But yeah, he wanted to go for the rise straight away and that didn't work out because obviously his projectile is pretty slow. And because of that, he was not going to land that kill. <laughs> oh man, the amount of damage going off on some of these champions is ridiculous. But it seems that, um, well, they are all building something defensive at least. Except for this, uh, oh, this Evelyn at least has some, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the Riggles Lantern. So that's some armor. No, but everyone has, like, uh, Ninja Tabbies. Well, here, the, the Riggles Lantern, Riggles Lantern, and Ninja Tabbies. Uh, Mercury Strats, uh, Glacial Shrouds, Catalyst, so this is very defensive. But obviously if you rise then you can build pretty defensively. Um, yeah, Mercury Strats here, uh, Dorn Shield, and this is even, yeah, some magic resist on that. And the only one that doesn't have anything is Ezreal, so going to be pretty hard to go up against a team that uh, that stacks a lot of uh, resists and yeah of course the ruby crystal does help him out a little bit but it's not really yeah major yet he is of course going for that uh, trinity force that's why he has that So, yeah, wow, just wow, <laughs> losing three champions there for no good reason, just to be, uh, or just because they wanted to chase Don Perignon. <laughs> Cute. So it seems that uh, the red team is uh, severely, uh, or in some severe trouble, severely pressured here. There are three champions coming in. And some minions, they need to take care of the minions straight away. And yeah, they are going to do that. So no damage done to the turret. The turret is at uh, about 20% health. So that's... Um, it's not the best, let's just say that. And uh, Yeah, they need to watch out for the amount of damage that the enemy team can provide. Unfortunately, not getting the Evelyn there. And these two need to go home. 
Seems that Nidalee is pretty confident she can survive. No? No, no, no. Okay. Jace uh, should go home as well. So yeah, Dragon will be up at, uh, well, in a few minutes, I believe. It's, it's even shorter than that. It's not a whole long time anymore. I don't know when they took it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm s I suppose I still can't see that. Red team's So yeah, the, the 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 blue team gets another turret here because obviously when it's at 20% health, it's not going to survive for very long. And it seems that uh, yeah, the blue team is all over the place. So if the red team just groups up and finds someone, and was this guy really waiting for the red buff to spawn? Really, that's that's your goal with your I don't know. So the blue team gets the dragon, which was, uh, yeah, it's it's a shame. I mean, they could have defended that pretty easily, but they have no wards on the dragon. Yeah, now they uh, they do notice. Hey, the dragon is up, but they are already too late. They should keep. Uh, Things like this and uh, this, I guess, warded. And here we go. Rise is, did, did see them. Yeah, there's a ward in the bush. Blue team doing a much better job of uh, of warding up. And does Evelyn only have like level one or something like that on her stealth? Because it is crazy. Hang on, that's the E, right? Does she no longer have that? No, she no longer has the uh, the stealth. So that's why they. Oh, that's that's what they remade about that. Also, don't know if uh, Twitch still has the the stealth but anyhow Twitch gets the kill there and it seems that Mordecai has got a kill as well and yeah Jax then gets the kill on Mordecai and <laughs> oh that was so close and is he going to get out no 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 Natalie won't have it you kill our dragon, we kill you. So yeah, she no longer has that stealth. Uh, she just stealths w uh, every time. And um, that is of course way more flavor. Uh, it adds way more flavor to the champion. I guess this guy, I should check on him whether he has the, uh, the stealth. Yeah, he still has the Twitch becomes invisible for 8 seconds. Hmm. So, I thought they would remake that for uh, for all stealth champions, but... Well, all. There are only two. Yes, I know more champions have stealth, but not a permanent stealth like... Well, 30 seconds. But yeah, Twitch used to be a 50 second stealth, so I guess uh, they didn't want him to stealth anymore. Because 8 seconds really isn't enough to do anything. It's still enough to sneak up on people, it's just not enough to get away. So I guess um, Evelyn can still use it to get away. And uh, well, other champions just uh, cannot, or well which in this case cannot use it to get away. He can only use it to get a little bit away or to um, to sneak up on people which yeah kind of the flavor of him is more that he can sneak up on people and then kill them. 
And also they added that uh, it's delayed by damage, so the... Oh, is he going to grab it? No, he's not going to grab it. Nope, they're just going to get away. Anyhow, um, so it, yeah, it used to be that Evelyn was delayed by... Uh, Evelyn's stealth was delayed by... Uh, uh, by damage, and now Twitch's stealth is delayed by damage, which I think it wasn't. But anyhow. So yeah, the um, the enemy team is just going to recall here, and they are going to be fine. I don't know if Evelyn actually gets unstealthed when she attacks minions, because I would assume so. We'll see that soon enough. Yes, he does de stealth. But the automatic stealth thing is pretty cool. I think, at least. It gives more of a flavor, as I said. Gives you more of the. Yeah, the, the thing that she's uh, she's a stealth champion, because she's always stealthed until, uh, until she attacks or until she is seen by someone. I don't know exactly how that all works. But I think it's just a way to avoid the wards. I'm not sure what happens if she runs into another champion. Yeah, she if she de-stealths immediately, but it seems that she just de-stealth immediately. And a large team fight here. It seems that um, yeah, it's not that good of a fight for the blue team because the red team, yeah, they were all. Uh, just standing there while well, they were all grouped up and the blue team really weren't grouped up or wasn't grouped up so they get another turret here no they don't get another turret wow they do lose another turret on the mid lane there so yeah they did lose uh, this turret and now they finally get this turret. I don't know why they stopped attacking it. Because it wasn't like they were going to wait for the minions. So this is going to be a Zinzao uh, against a Lee Sin. And uh, we've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> a death cap on, uh, on Nidalee. That is a pretty big pickup. And she indeed has some pretty nice damage now. Well, it did have the Sheen. The Sheen really doesn't combine well with AP. But I guess you can build whatever you want. It does have AP, of course. But yeah, once you upgrade it to... Uh, uh, what's the name? Lich Bane. Once you upgrade it to Lich Bane, it is uh, a pretty decent AP item. But yeah, you need... You need to upgrade it to that. So the blue team once again gets the dragon. Because that once again isn't a ward up for the red team. And uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Getting that at the maximum range. Wow, that was... Wow, that was so good. Oh, Twitch dies. Yeah, Twitch wasn't isn't really playing his best match, I guess, uh, in the not dying department. It's pretty funny how everyone's over 100, by the way. It looks kind of cute. Come on, send in the Evelyn ghosts. Another red turret dies. Uh, this time in the bottom lane, it seems. Yeah, he was just too late, he couldn't clean it up. Rice has the Archangel staff now. And yeah, <coughs> he is building up some pretty nice uh, AP as well. Well, I guess damage. You, you shouldn't talk about AP as Rice. Because Rice is hardly ever built with AP. Well, he shouldn't be built with AP. Although some AP on him is still pretty good, especially yeah, things like uh, Rod of Ages, which add a lot of mana as well as AP. 
So yeah, they are pretty good. And of course the Archangel staff is also one of the things that uh, does very well on him. <laughs> yeah, it seems that um, we are pushing mid lane now and um, we're all grouped up. No, not all grouped up. It seems that Twitch decides, no, he doesn't need to be here. Screw that. Oh, Mordecai gets caught, and oh man. I think he had an Oracles even. And Lee Sin going down. Such a huge amount of damage going down on that Mordekaiser straight away. But they are going to uh, grab some kills back here. Come on. So it is a full for 4 trade in the end. And uh, <laughs> let's just hope that Nidalee can actually stay alive. Nidalee is really the only one that comes out of these kind of team fights alive every time. Only died twice. And actually has 124 minions, which is more than the jungler, more than the mid laner, and almost more than the bottom laner. And even though she hasn't picked up very many minions in the beginning, she, um, she is starting to be kind of a carry. But yeah, once again, I will mention it, it is better to have one fat carry than two semi-fat carries. But in this case, yeah, Nidalee can't really help that Twitch doesn't get the minions at this point. So she will have to do whatever is best for her uh, champion. And um, whenever she can, of course, pick up that, uh, that farm. Because that's the only way she can attribute to the team as much as possible. Otherwise, she's just letting uh, minions go to waste. And that is never something you want to do. So it seems that, um, yeah, we are doing uh, pretty well, in general. Currently at, uh, well, an equal amount of gold. 47 against 48, so that's 1k gold difference, same amount of kills. And that 1k gold difference is just because the enemy team grabbed one more dragon. Maybe even two more dragons, I don't know. So it seems, yeah, this was an easy kill. And we are just going in for the next turret here, I'm assuming. Because with all five champions here, finally all five grouped up, they uh, they should be able to pick off this turret pretty easily. So ward is down, trap is down. And let's see what they can do. Okay, team fight goes in, and there we go, getting two kills right off the bat. Mordekaiser needs to watch it. Oh, he runs straight into Rice. And yeah, they do get the ace, but Mordekaiser really shouldn't have died there. He should have ran out the other way, away from the champions instead of into them. And he still had his flash up, so he could have actually flashed over this wall to make sure that he got away. But yeah, some people just don't pay attention to what their champion is doing. So yeah, two towers down, um, the inhibitor down, and they're going to take out these two, I'm assuming. Come on, why would you suicide there? That is so unnecessary. Just take out the turrets, like Nidalee. Anyhow, it seems that um, yeah, this guy has been suiciding all game. He's 9 and 11. He has 11 deaths out of the uh, 29. That is a pretty big deal. And um, yeah, Evelyn not good at actually reacting to something. And are we going to make it out? Yeah, we are. Come on, Italy. You can do it. Yeah, she's gone. 
He gives up the chase. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's go for the Baron. No, they actually think that the enemy is going for the Baron. No, it doesn't seem that she de-stealths immediately. It's, it's she uh, she de-stealths when she attacks. So that's uh, pretty much the same as it was before, only well, you don't have to press the button all the time now. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit of lag there. And it seems that we are all over the place. Evelyn gets a kill. And then the Lee Sin gets a kill and he doesn't get killed. Wow. He got really lucky there. Nidley grabs a kill. And come on, let's go. Grab someone. He doesn't have a slow yet. Oh man. Why would you go for Sunfire Cape? Why wouldn't you uh, and and Warmox armor? Why not just go for something that's actually useful? Like uh, Rylai's Crystal Scepter, that's why I said the slow. Rylai's Crystal Scepter on Mordekaiser is awesome sauce. Because you, you have all kinds of spells that can hit people, but you have to be close enough to them. And in these kind of team fights, it is uh, very useful to... Uh, well, to just have that. What's over here that has... Oh, that's a trap. Okay, that's why I can't click it. But it says when it times out, I guess. Oh my god. Did you see that? They have no jungler with them. And they have no vision. So this guy is just going to come in here and just grab the dread, the Baron. And this is why people uh, have been advertising or asking them to uh, to remove the ability to smite Baron, because yeah, these kind of steals they put you so far behind. That's a 3k gold swing. So instead of getting 1500 gold and the opponent's getting zero, they get 1500 gold and you get zero. So. You basically lose 1500 gold instead of gaining 1500 gold. And that is just a huge amount of, uh, well, of an advantage. And yeah, of course they should have pink warded it. And they should know that they should pink ward it. But yeah, that's just the way it goes. I mean, this ward here already is a problem. And uh, yeah, Nidalee of course could have prevented this by putting her uh, traps like over here or well, I guess um, Yeah, you need like here and here and then over here so that it yeah Well, just to make it harder for Evelyn to uh, to get there Well actually to make it impossible for her to get there uh, stealth she did try of course, but Yeah, it didn't work out and if uh, Lee Sin didn't suicide all the time, they would have actually been able to reveal her pretty easily. Plus they would have had a smite, which would have made it better as well. So yeah, let's see how uh, Nilly is doing on that uh, charging up of this guy. Wow, actually has the 1000s. That is pretty impressive, because that takes, as I said, 250 spells with uh, 2 second cooldown. 3 seconds? 3 seconds. And yes, it gives you 83 uh, ability power, which is not a whole lot. It says 83, right? Yeah. So let's see, let's see rises. I want to see rises. Uh, gives him 112, so that's not even that good. Uh, even though he uh, builds, well, a whole lot of mana, it's uh, yeah, it's not that impressive. I uh, I expected more. Uh, 
Anyhow, yeah, it's uh, kind of time to finish this game, guys. Just uh, win a team fight. Oh, they're going to lose this one. Yeah, they uh, they were a little bit spread out too much. Uh, Nidalee wasn't in the fight yet, and they engaged anyway. I mean, I don't know who engaged there, but hang on. So what happened? They were all grouped up, ready to go. And yeah, this Lee Sin gets caught. Well, he gets split off from the team. And then uh, Twitch follows him. And yeah, as you can see, it was not that Nidalee wasn't there. She just tried to come around. And it's not her fault in this case, but um, it was definitely not a good engage. It, it was Lee Sin's fault. He shouldn't have split off from the pack after he missed that Q. They should have waited for the Q. Wow! Man, they should have waited for that uh, Q to come back up, because that is a great engage, but you don't run into an enemy team after missing that, or run into run away from your team, that's even way worse than running into the enemy team. Because running into the enemy team would at least suggest that you understood what you were doing, and now he just split off from the rest. And man, they could have won this so easily, and now they're going to probably lose. Although, yeah, it's still pretty equal. No, this is 1.7k. Uh, well, they miss in their gold. And unfortunately, yeah, she was a little bit too far forward there. But that is hardly the problem. Dying three times, that's not the problem. Di dying 12 times, that's the problem. Wow, really? You're going to flash for that? For the the maybe chance to get like one hit on Evelyn? Because I don't even think that her stealth... Uh, no, it, it doesn't... Uh, oh, there. Casting spells, taking damage or dealing damage. Yeah. So yeah, it would, it would have unstealthed her. Okay, never mind. Just didn't see it the first time. Yeah, it seems that the the enemy team and the well the the red and blue teams both are kind of all over the place here. And at 37 to 38, the next ace is going to uh, decide the game, or the next almost ace, or well, the next team fight in general. So you don't want to group. Uh, you don't want to spread out. You want to group up. And sorry, I think this is it. I think the team fight's coming in right here, and I think they're going to either win or lose it right here. It's still anybody's game. I mean, the team that comes out ahead in this next team fight. Oh my God, he gets caught again. Really, really bad. And yeah. Hang on, what happened on the other side? Because this guy got caught. And that was just plain bad. But then, what happens here? Yeah, Nidalee gets focused down. Which was kind of obvious that that was going to happen. And then Twitch gets focused down. And then, of course, yeah. Only Mordekaiser the are still there. So they were once again all over the place with the enemy team grouped up and yeah Nidalee just got caught there well as I said it wasn't really her fault well this was her fault but the loss is definitely not her fault that was I'm blaming that all on uh, Lee Sin who is of course going to say man I have the most kills on the team of course I'm the most useful but yeah running in like that is really really stupid and um, yeah, there you go, losing the match. Although it's going to save victory. Yeah, so it always says victory because there's always someone who wins. But yeah, this um, this was a really hard-fought match. It's um, pretty much impossible to to win this as Nidalee, well, as support Nidalee. Um, <laughs> oh man, she almost had the most gold in the game, uh, in the team. And yeah, 
that is pretty impressive. 13,000 exactly. And yeah, it, it's just all the lease in, man. There's nothing you can do against that. Bad players are going to be bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.